So we're in Kona on the Big Island, another kind of strike mission. My buddy Justin Lee set this up. All I was focusing on was Got my other friend Trevor, who's bragging about how deep he can dive right now. <laughs> and uh, Perrin is coming in later tonight. And uh, so it's a strike mission based on the moon phase. I guess it's been lighting up offshore outside of Kona here. And um, there's big yellowfin tuna showing up as well as marlin. So we're hopping on the Kraken here. We're gonna do two days of blue water diving. The conditions are not mellow, <laughs> but they're saying it's not too bad out there, but the wind's blowing like solid 20 knots. And it's the only way to really get fish like this in Hawaii is to take these gambles because as opposed to other places in the world where you get big tunas and everything really collecting over one piece of underwater structure, our fish are often passing through really fast and moving around a lot. So that's why you, you don't see a lot of spear fishermen getting these big tuna regularly in Hawaii. Um, they will come around the fads, but there's so many um, subsistence and sport fishermen on top of those fads that you can't dive it. Um, so we're gonna bring a whole bunch of chum out there and uh, be looking, staring at some blue water for a long time. So I think we're gonna try a bunch of different tactics to see if we can have a successful trip. And I'm sure it'll evolve as we go along, but can't win the lottery unless you buy a ticket, you know? So that's what we're doing, we're buying our ticket. And did you see the, the barb on that? No, oh. like what it says on it? He's stylizing. <laughs> this right here is the reason why we won't be able to make an edit under 50 minutes. Because <laughs> he'll be telling his Jay Lee stories. Okay, one. I'll show you another one where it's just Cyrus. Yeah. Oh, I'd be so pumped. That to shoot was today, like dude. That. How long did you guys fight him for before he came up? About 40 minutes. Oh, nice. So give us the breakdown. What what was the fishing like out there today? It was pretty cool. Uh, in the morning it wasn't that great. Uh -huh. Tried catching Opelu. It took forever. We only got four. Lost a couple rigs to predators that were down there. And then went out. It was kind of bumpy when we went around the point. So then we started to come back and we found a school of dolphins. The spotted dolphins. The ones that hang out with the tunas. And fished around them. Started marking. We dropped the bait down. Had a marlin come up and try to whack the bait, lost that one. Then five minutes later, put a new bait out and got a the ahi on, popped that for 40 minutes. Had a couple more come up, never got them to bite. We went down south a little bit and found a couple more marlin. Caught one, lost one. Caught another one and lost another one. Yeah. So it's, it's fishy though. Yeah, and we're only out three hours. And we got almost two full days it's crazy that we've, we've been planned talking this, like, about this for four months. months out i was like Bro. i was like let's do a, a big moon of march yeah he's all like the first big moon of the march i was all like yeah like you might hop in and see something real big yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah my favorite month of the year here yeah <laughs> oh is it yeah oh yeah I think least amount of man hours per really large marlin. There's no time better than than March. March, yeah. wow. March April, May, June, it's all good. But I've, March has been extremely good to me. Make sure to film that thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's all about. It's all it's about, about that thing. It's all right about this Mahina out there. <laughs> yeah. The Luna. Yeah. yeah. The Moon. Chip's last boat. Was Oh yeah. <laughs> so you yeah. find that it's like two, three days before the full moon that's the hottest, or on full moon? It's supposed to be or full moon is on Monday. I like I like yeah, the Sunday whole or week. Sunday Monday is full. Yeah. I like the whole week leading up to it. The week leading up to the full. The week leading up to the new is awesome as well. You're trying to actually, it's like tug of war, but you have yeah. to leader the person in. Yeah. yeah. Like leadering a right. giant marlin. But that kind of hurts, man. 
<laughs> Alright, ready? Go. Yeah. Get that wrap, get that wrap. Whoa! Single. Oh, that fucking hurt. Hey, just so we can have a fair game after. Okay, fair game. She wins. Oh. <laughs> I'm just a normal guy who fishes. And he likes to make fun of my friend. But this on. glove is way better than right, the other glove. There you go. All right. You ready now? That's crazy. There you go. Wrap up. If you can't pull me Those to you, you're 100 a hundred pounds more than me. If you can't get me, shame. You can't get me at all. A little fight there. All right, ready? Oh man, I hope the line breaks. He's eating you. I'm so happy. Oh, there it is. Hey, you got a bait knife? I know. <laughs> Justin, turn your body. <laughs> turn your body. He's not torso. big enough to have to me turn my body. He's your torso. <laughs> you look like Ben Hur. Getting in the pickle. Wait, around the thumb? <laughs> 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 morning of day one. Hopefully, we'll have uh, two epic days here. Um, but uh, got up just before light, slept on the boat last night. Um, got all comfy. Parent came in from Mexico and uh, it's gonna be go time here. We got the floats filled, we got the chum, everybody's starting to move around. Um, we're gonna hit the open water here in a little bit, try and drag some teasers and uh, hopefully get a few Pinocchios up in the pattern. And, uh, we'll go from there. Excitement is, uh, is starting to, to percolate, which means I gotta take a dump in a little bit. But uh, it's gonna be epic. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Fun crew, fun boat, beautiful weather in Kona here. So I'm excited. Cyrus. Uh, we're headed out of Honokahau Harbor right now to go catch Opelu first, which is a mackerel scad, the snicker bar of the ocean. Um, and then from there we're gonna troll down to the fishing village of Mill Lee uh, and hopefully find somewhere to utilize those baits. Um, on the way down we're probably gonna run our lures with hooks in them until we get to an area where I'm marking fish, and then we'll take the hooks out and run a spread of essentially decoys and teasers, uh, and hopefully be able to bait and switch a blue marlin to one of our spear fishermen. spot right here there's a bunch of opello that have been here lately all right i'm gonna go drop these rigs down and go try to catch them these are for extra bait this is a marabout rig yeah it looks just like plankton to them and they come up and eat right off the hook it's because the line is so long that if you hold the lead yeah. and the wind you get a bird nest. So if you just drag it like this, this is what I have learned. You've been taught. Put our live wheel right here. Keeps them alive really well. You know.
know something's gonna go really wrong when Justin Lee has a fishing pole. He really should stick to only diving. I mean, I've seen him throw rods in the water, a shark will bite, just drops a rod. I don't know, I mean, he's got sabikis in his hand, which are like a bunch of little hooks he's trying to catch bait. That's seven deadly hooks that he can wrap around his neck. Anything could happen when Justin Lee has a fishing pole. You really gotta be careful. Where they raise the Kona Kampachi. So on top of that barge, there's all the food and all the supplies for the cage. And underwater, you've got this huge cage. These guys are just dropping. We call it Paluahi. They grab a dropping stone. They grab a, a big bag in a parachute style. Put chum in it. Wrap the chum drop it down, open the chum bag down 60, 70 fathoms, let the chum with their bait and try and catch ahi. But there's so many stenos here that, uh, see all the dolphins up here. They are the bait stealers of the world. Fish stealers, dinner stealers. searching for uh, marlin. We've, we've done this all day long, sitting in our wetsuits on the back of the boat. One person is gonna be there. I'll be on the other side of the transom waiting to see him come up in the teasers. In a perfect situation, marlin's gonna strike the teaser and we'll have enough time to throw the buoy, jump in, and hopefully connect with the fish. Um, I think we've got 40 hours dragging behind this boat and not seeing anything, which is not very likely for Captain Cyrus. He's quite the fisherman. And, can usually put marlin in the boat every single day until the spearfishmen join the boat, then the marlin all just disappear. I don't know if that's Mark's bad luck or Justin's scared away or even Captain Dysfunctional over here, but uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see. My plan today is to hopefully film one of these, one of these guys shoot, shoot their first marlin. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> okay, so I'm going first. We're gonna drag some hookless lures, try to get something up, and then hop off if we do. I'm setting up, setting up the buoys, so I'm running two buoys, separated by about 10 feet of bungee, and then a main bungee line that's gonna be attached to my spear, that's 100 feet long. which is like a chandelier of bait fish looking lures and uh, that's just basically like a huge conversation piece and hopefully that'll attract the fish up they'll see the single lure behind the, the school of fish and as a predator they want to come and attack of course the weakest link or the fish furthest behind um, and once the fish comes up zeroes in on that uh, lure that's popping that, that lure that's without any hooks the goal is to keep teasing him, keep teasing him, as the diver first up is gonna be Mark, slips into the water, clears the bubbles, and that fish basically is sitting back there, hungry as hell. Mark slips in the water, the lure disappears, and he's like, what the hell happened? And he'll most likely, most fish are pretty curious, will all of a sudden see this big object, as in Mark or one of us in the water, and will come, up, come check us out probably one or two passes. So the shot opportunity is gonna be really, really quick. Um, and it's gonna be high intensity really fast. Um, it's gonna be pretty epic. I, it's, 
I've never been on the boat when this has ever happened or seen it happen. I've just seen uh, videos, but it's fast, really, really fast. Um, but it's gonna be boredom followed by uh, a few minutes of excitement followed by hopefully a long tug of war. And um, yeah, it's beautiful out here. We've been marking some fish already, so, you know, anticipation is high. And uh, time to go. Mark uh, cleared his bowels, so he's ready to go. He's a couple pounds lighter. He took a couple more, a couple of pounds off his weight belt, so uh, he doesn't need a little extra. But um, we're getting loaded, and uh, fingers are crossed. Hitting the water and your slip kept falling off. Are you bleeding? Up the knuckles are ready. <laughs> you seeing something I'm not? No, you're not this way. <laughs> you're uh, you're bunching. Should we pay it out right now and then bring it back in? We can coil it here. Once this boat slows down, the marlin gets pissed off because the, all the lures are going to drop. So they're going to go directly to this guy right here. And what about you? I'm going to be right there next to him. It's going to be awesome. Boats hooked up to marlin like all around us right now and we're marking them down deep so these things are just everywhere right now I guess. Sounds like that uh, month and moon prediction by the boys is uh, paying off. We'll see though. Still got to get one up. <laughs> 